On Monday, May 6th, Hiller's softball took on Bellingham. The Blackhawks scored 10 runs in the first inning and added a home run in the second inning. Pitch. We'll see if she's able to settle down here in this inning as this is hit high in the air towards the wall. See ya! 11-0 Bellingham. A solo shot by the catcher. Ryan Haynes goes yard. Unreal. Bellingham putting on a clinic. Bottom of the sixth, Jillian Cedia made it a 13-8 game. Line up in the pitch. Cedia gets a piece of this one to the wall. See you later. Home run, Cedia. Well, that's the best well. you can do right there is hit the ball out of the ballpark. Well, if Holly didn't try to advance, could have been a three-run shot there. But it is a solo shot for Cedia. Bottom of the seventh, the Hillers down to their final three outs. Vestry deals. And this is hit in the air. Over to right field. That'll get down for a hit. And it's going to be a 13-11 game. And it's going to perhaps be a triple. In the third she goes. Safe. She ran right through the coach's stop sign. Kristen McCluskey reaching third base, driving in Carly Stevens. And it's a 13 to 11 Bellingham lead with Katie Holly coming to the plate. Katie Holly having a good day at the plate, 3-4-3 with a walk. Has also scored a run and driven in a run. And we'll get a piece of this one over to left field. It goes and it's caught. And that'll end the ball game. Alexis Rodriguez making the closing catch. Bellingham took the game 13 to 11. Since the loss, the Hillers have won three straight games and currently stand at 12 wins and two losses on the season. On Thursday, May 9th, Hillers baseball took on Ashland under the lights at the turf fields. Top of the third, Ashland adds on to their one to nothing lead. The Hornung actually won the Metro West Daily News athlete of the year and he'll get a piece of this one over to right field it goes that'll get down for a base hit Matarisi the lead runner heading over to third will he be waved around yes he will the throw home is going to be out of the glove of Simos and Matarisi scores and now up to third is Hornung Hillers respond in the bottom of the third line up in the pitch and this is hit in the air. Over to center field it goes. That'll get down. Lead runner Tommy Emersoni being waved around. And he will score. A 2-1 to one Ashland lead. An RBI single for Drew Rankatori. Top of the fourth. Ashland gets their lead back to two runs. Monzo is at a 172 coming into this game. And he's going to add on to that here. That'll get down into center field. And being waved around is Shea Donovan. And it's a 3-1 to one Ashland lead. An RBI single for Dante Diavanzo. Ashland took the game 3-1. The Hillers went on to beat Westwood on the road 8-6 and currently stand at 11 wins and 3 losses on the season. On Wednesday, May 15th, Hillers boys lacrosse got the scoring started early and often against Norton. Shot goal Hillers. Zach Frank makes it one to nothing. And now it's stolen away, a shot there and a goal. Luke McDonald makes it two to nothing. Now it's Luke McDonald, he'll leave it out in front. There's a great pass by McBride and a shot by Riley Del Ponte. And that is in to make it three to nothing. 7.45 left to go in the first quarter. Rushing in Matt Fiore. Pass up behind the net, and there's a shot and a score by Riley Del Ponte. And just like that, it's 4 0 Hillers. 6.53 left to go in the first quarter. Yeah, I've got a classic transition going on here. Dylan McBride with a nice feed. Yeah, I mean, that's a Dylan classic. And another score there for the Hillers. I believe that was uh, Del Ponte with another one. Again. It's his third goal already. 5.09 left to go in the first quarter. 5-0 Hillers. 
Infante leaves it out in front. And now a great setup for McBride. Six nothing Hillers. This is the kind of game where it can get a little you can get it easy to be a little too aggressive. And so what you like to see is what they were just doing there, having some discipline, working the ball around still, really making sure they take a good shot. That was some really good ball work. Back around. McDonald with possession. And there's Stilponti with another Again. shot. And did that go in? I believe it did. Yes, it did. 7-0 Hillers. Riley having a career game here today. Certainly is. Four goals in the first quarter. It was an 8-0 Hillers lead after the first quarter, and they allowed just about everyone to get into this game. Hopkinton took down Norton 16-3. The Hillers currently stand at nine wins and four losses on the season, and with the win, they officially clinch a playoff spot.